Hello guys, I omitted page 9 of variant 058041 October November 2023 while merging the pages together. I have already solved all the questions in this variant except the omitted question which is question 5c. The link to download this omitted page will be available in the description and the comment sections below this video question 5c in triangle l m n the ratio angle l to angle m to angle n is given as 4 to 5 to 6 respectively in triangle pqr pq is equals to 6 centimeters pr is equals to 4 centimeters and qr is equals to 5 centimeters Calculate the difference between the largest angle in triangle PQR and the largest angle in triangle LMN. So let's start with triangle LMN. So the total ratio will be uh, 4 add 5 add 6. That will be 15. And already we know that uh, the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so that means the total angle will be equals to 180 degrees so we can easily get the value of the uh, largest angle in triangle lmn that will be angle n because it has the largest ratio so that means the ratio of the uh, largest angle which is 6 over the total ratio which is 15 multiplied by 180 degrees so this will give us uh, the largest angle the largest angle in triangle l m n so will be equals to this and if you input this into a calculator you get 72 degrees so that means the largest angle in triangle LMN is 72 degrees then we need to find the largest angle in triangle PQR so we are uh, given the three sides so we can say this is side R equals to 6 centimeters side P will be equals to 5 centimeters and side Q will be equals to 4 centimeters so we can use uh, cosine rule to get um, angle P. Then we can also use uh, sine rule to get uh, the other angles, okay? Depending on the one we intend to uh, find. So let's start with um, angle B. We need to find angle P using cosine rule. So don't forget, I have the values here. P is equals to 5 centimeters. Q is equals to 4 centimeters and R is equals to 6 centimeters. So that means we're going to have P squared equals to Q squared plus R squared minus 2 into P into R then cos P. That's the angle there. So if you key in the values, P is 5 centimeters, that will be 5 squared. Q is equals to 4 centimeters, that will be 4 squared plus r is equal to 6 centimeters that will be 6 squared then minus 2 into 4 into 6 then cos p then this will give you 25 this will give you 16 this will give you 36 2 times 4 8 8 times 2 sorry 2 times 4 8 8 times 6 that will be uh, 48 then cos p then we have 25 is equals to, if you add these two together, you get 52. Then minus cos, sorry, minus 48 cos P. Then let's go down a little bit so we can uh, rearrange. So we have 48 cos P to be equals to 52 minus 25. So 48 cos P will be equals to 27 if you subtract 25 from 52 then cos p cos p is equals to 27 over 48 
So this will give you a decimal number 0 0.5625. So we can now find, okay, let me write this, cos P equals to 0 0.5625. Then P will be equals to cos inverse of 0 0.5625. 0.5625 then the value of p is equals to 55.8 degrees to one decimal place then uh, we can go back to the triangle now so here we have already found angle p which is 55.8 okay so we can get another angle let's say angle r we can find angle r okay so using um sine rule we can get angle r so it will be uh r over sine r then p over sine p okay so let's scroll down okay i think we can use this place so we have r over sine r to be equals to p over sine p then the value of r is six centimeters over sine r that is the angle we want to get is equals to p which is 5 over sine p so angle p is 55.8 so we can put sine 55.8 so if you cross multiply and make sine r the subject of the formula so you get sine r to be equals to 6 times sine 55.8 so divided by 6 okay and if you do this you get sine r to be equals to 0 0.9925 if you take sine inverse of both sides you get angle r to be equals to sine inverse of 0 0.9925 so let's scroll down a little bit so r will be 83 Point zero degrees to one decimal place so we go back to the triangle pqr so this will be 83 okay of course uh, the next angle will be uh, the third angle will be less than these two because uh, these two if you add them together so you are having about um, 130 something okay so that is what you'll be having okay so automatically the third angle is less than 50 so uh the largest angle here will be 83 okay that's the largest angle so we cannot go back to the question we are asked to calculate the difference between the largest angle in triangle pqr and the largest angle in the triangle lmn so that will be um 83 degrees minus 72 degrees so this will give us 11 degrees so the difference between the largest angle in triangle pqr and the largest angle in triangle lmn is 11 degrees so this will be the final answer okay so my apology for omitting this particular question so it will be uploaded in the playlist where you already have the other variants so um have your fingers crossed and be expecting the last uh, variant which is um zero five eight zero four three